and the fandom celebrates. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and today I will be reacting to the third episode of the 100 of this season and yesterday when I finished school I checked my phone and I saw that the 100 had been renewed for season 6 and I was like, I made the biggest sound and then I realised where I was and I was like, crap, better not do that again. So well done to us for like getting it renewed within two episodes, two, all they needed was the buzz of two episodes, and they went, yep, we'll make a sixth season. Oh, but I bet you the CW know what shit's going down at the end of this season, and they know it's going to be good. So I'm really excited for what's lays ahead, and I love that we have another whole season to enjoy. But without further ado, let's focus on this episode. So let's go. Shit. Clark, this isn't right. Lady, I know, but this is our home. Your home. And they want to take it from us. That's right. That's right. Oh, shit, ready you minds now. You have to suffer. This is not your damn army. I'm not just gonna lie. <laughs> That's why you hold, bitch. Oh. Mother shit. No! Oh my god. Spoken like a man who gave up just for spaceships. What can I say? I choose speed over death every time. How about life over death, Lieutenant? Do you choose that too? Oh shit, now what? <gasps> Boys and girls, meet Allegis 4. She's really transformed, so hey. Shut up, John. I got it. I got it. I'll be back to the Shit. Oh my god. I almost missed the entrance. the skin of their teeth. Prison labor. Combining missions were dangerous. There's some people they thought were disposable. Shit. Sounds familiar. Relax. Their ancestors were prisoners a hundred years ago. Their descendants on that transport ship are survivors, just like us. Actually, that might not be correct. Like, they were talking about how they were in a deep sleep. They could be people from like a hundred years ago that have been asleep for a hundred years. Bridges this way. Come on. Imagine it's people from our time. Shit, that's an idea. And the crowd goes wild. Woo! So we <laughs> have a Can we talk to them? Or you we don't. don't yeah. Thank you, Bellamy. I've got something better than the moment. I've got tracks. We're hunting our people. We are in her backyard. She knows the terrain. Right here. Shit. We need to get in here. Not without you. There's no time to argue about this, Maddie. Get in now. I, I love you. I said report, McCreary. Relax, Colonel. I told you we'd get her. We did. She's a feisty one. Pretty too. Good work. Bring her to me. She killed four of our people. Yes, but after we landed in their valley and we took their village. Yeah, Colonel, exactly. A proximity alarm was triggered near the primary docking port on the mothership. Probably nothing, but I thought I should. Did you activate Kodiak? 
Not yet. We have security protocols. Follow them. Hey, hey, stop! Blood alteration like they had on Allegiance 3. Two suns. No sunscreen needed. Must be how they survived down here. How could we have? We were just trying to get back home. Imagine our surprise when we found that there was no home to get back to. No more prisoners. Shoot to kill. Maddie. Oh no. Pushing the Mori away because you think to find a skill that made him more useful than you. Don't tell me how you really feel, Monty. I thought I just did. I'm just mad because I'm excited to go back down to the ground instead of hiding from the real world. Guys. The hateful Echo is speaking. You need to see this. And they left it unattended. unattended. I don't oh. believe it. Cry asleep. That's him sleeping. He's just curious why they're asleep and how long they've been asleep for. That's what I want to know too. Did he... Kodiak protocol. Oh shit, Kodiak is to wake them up. Mother freaking oh shit. 300 inmates, 25 guards, and 12 crew. Relax. Great great grandpappy Blake was an astronaut with how many PhDs? Huh. Four. And how many do you have? Oh, wait, shut up. True. I got it. I have to make this fast. The ship has been compromised. The prisoners found out about Order 11. They used an explosion in the starboard engine bay as a distraction. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, that's her. Shit, over a hundred years ago. I said it. He said he was trying to deactivate Cryo. Bellamy, look out! <gasps> Bellamy! Oh no! Yes, Raven. Oh. Okay. If she's good for anything, she's good for killing the bitches. Oh, shit. One of them woke up. The question is how? No, the question is what the hell are we waiting for? Seriously, okay, we're all gassed up. Let's pull the plug on the sleeping army and go home. Murphy's not wrong. This is an army. You gotta take it out. I know how you feel. But it took three of us to take out one of them. I kind of agree with her. Been off the ring for less than a day, and we're already talking about murdering hundreds of people. This is but not murder; it's survival. I was here. This wouldn't even be. Clark's a not here. Exactly. Oh, that means Clark. She died so we can <gasps> live. Bellamy, this is how we do that. No, she's alive. Look at that facial expression on Bellamy. He's he's really still like. Anytime Clark's mentioned, it still hits hard. We can leave them here like this, but block the signal from the ground so they can't wake them up. Good point. Shuttle. They can just come back up and do it themselves. Yeah, but that takes can time. Can you it so we can kill them remotely? It's tricky, but possible. Why? Okay, what is this? Echo's Dying got all the ideas. So what the hell? Clark. Clark didn't die for us to live, just so we can go back to the ground and make the same mistakes. Let's be good guys. There are no good guys. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Believe it or not, this is the best conversation I've had in over a hundred years. They are from before the first Prime Fire. So like, literally, they're from our world. Basically, everything they remember and all the stories they tell are going to be about places and things that existed in our world. So technically, he's like, say he's like 24, he'd be 124. Shit, bro. Turn off the lake. Go west. Change the direction. Maddie. Wait, Spencer. Please. How many others are in the woods? None. It's just the two of us. I am begging you. Tell him not to shoot. Fire at will. No. I'm taking a shot. No. So, if McCreary disobeys, shoot him in the leg. Harris? Falk disobeys. Shoot him in the head. Oh, boy, bitch! Start with how the world ended. Which time? <laughs> Shit, yeah. Which freaking time? Someone has to stay up here. What? No. What? With remote access to the cryo 
pod's blocked, we won't be able to operate them either. Pulling the plug from the ground is- Raven, you can't. No. No, no way. Okay, we, we, we make the threat from up here on the laser comm. We won't know if they're following through. Look, I've played out every angle. This only works if we have eyes on the ground. Then It has to be me. No, Raven, you can't stay up there. I am not leaving you here. Fuck, what about- You need to go and find your sister. And make a deal for peace with the prisoners. No, what about Once you? everyone's friends, they'll come back up for their people, and I'll have to ride down with them. What if the threat doesn't work? You'll what? be stuck up here, Raven. You'll have to kill 300 people. Exactly. Have you thought about that? I left Clark behind to die, and I... I'm not doing that again. Aww. Raven! I may get you all home. No, what about you? But then again, he'll get to see Clark again. So like, positives. Right. Someone has to run things from here. So let it be John. Oh. I said it's difficult. Now, Murphy, stay in two. Oh shit. Look, we might need backup. What? We've the Mori flying. This is the survivor's move. Huh. <laughs> See you on the other side. That was the dick comment. Okay, what the hell are you doing here? Giving you company. <laughs> welcome, by the way. Aww. Why are everyone so surprised? I mean, if it wasn't an escape pod, I could understand. It wasn't an escape pod. What? What? I only told Bellamy that because I knew he would never leave me behind without a way down. Oh, shit. Fucking hell. Murphy. <gasps> oh. That's when you know you fucked up. <laughs> oh my god, are they gonna be on the ground? Oh my god. Oh my god, they're on the ground. Oh my god, they're on the ground. And they're gonna find out Clark's alive. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> It was started by an AI called Allie. Her intention was to reduce the population. We have five more hostiles. At least one is armed. We still playing nice. Oh, they're gonna think she lied. They came from the sky! Take her outside. That's what they need to know. Use the collar. I thought you'd never ask. Are you serious? Just her. She's got friends on the other hand. Get your fucking collar off her. One of you gets to live. Is that Maddie? Yes, Maddie. Oh my god! Maddie! Ah! Oh, she's gonna know. She's gonna know! Clark knew you would come. Clark's alive. She's in trouble. You have to go. Oh my god, Clark. <gasps> she was annoying. She didn't know. I don't know who that was. Is this the moment that we've been waiting for? For six years? Hey, no. Take the rover back. That's the plan. That's how many of your people are gonna die if you and I can't make a deal. <laughs> she must be pretty important to you. She's damn fucking important. She is. <laughs> <laughs> and the fandom celebrates. There's no going back. Shit, what an ending to that episode. <gasps> the main things to process from the episode is that they're on the ground, 
Raven and Murphy are still up in the sky, but they have some serious leverage. Maddie's okay, everyone's okay, but Clark and Bellamy are back together, everybody. They're back together. They're back together. That moment, though, the look in her face when she sees the figure just walking closer and closer about into the light. <sighs> that look. That was a look of love, everybody. That was a look of love. And then, like, obviously she has no idea what shit's going down up in space. But either freaking way, Bellamy just literally said how much she means to him. Because, obviously, she's that important. Oh. Belloc fans. Next week, it's going to be intense. Unless they jump back to Octavia's... Maybe they'll keep... They'll jump back and forth. Either way, I don't really care. Three episodes of the best season yet, and they've killed it. They've got the little reunion. Oh, what an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, and make sure to click subscribe to my channel, because you're about to need to be subscribed in the next few weeks, because everything is going to go haywire with the videos, so you need to be on top of it, and that's by subscribing. Make sure you also follow my social media links, they're down below. But I think that's all I've got, so I'm just gonna go like freak out next door, like off camera again, because they just had like a half reunion, and Bellamy was like, oh my god, she's alive, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and then he's freaking out, and like, yeah. Alright, so yeah, boy, boy.